welcome to this dynamic movement practice. It's about 15 to 20 minutes long, and make sure you've warmed your wrists up prior to getting into this. You will need a set of blocks for this. Let's go. Okay, so starting on the hands, come to all fours, hover the knees just off the floor. Good, let's go, straight into it. Hold, press the floor away for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, draw the right knee forwards. Hold, five, four, three, two, one. Step back, take a full inhale. Exhale, shift forwards, left knee to left wrist. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, shift back. Exhale, shift back, down dog. Same thing, a little bit more intense. Inhale, lift the right foot. Exhale, draw the right knee forward, tap the right wrist. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, draw it up towards the armpit. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, press back, five, like a three-legged plank. Three, two, one. Exhale, shift all the way back into a three-legged dog. Good, switch. Right foot comes down, left foot goes up. Exhale, come forwards. Left knee to left wrist, hold for five, four, shoulders be burning, three, two, one. Exhale, draw up to the armpit, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, extend, point the toe, five, into a three-legged plank, four, three, two, one. Exhale, place both feet down. Bend the legs. Exhale, end of exhale. Step or jump through. So you might have to cross the legs, or if you've got it, jump all the way through onto the butt. Good, grab the blocks, place them by the sides. Okay, about halfway down the thigh. What we're gonna do is press down into the hands and lift the body forwards and up. So, take an inhale, lift up through the spine. We're gonna exhale as we fold forwards and press forwards. Press down, straight arms, push, lift. Inhale as you come back to center. Exhale for two, for three. Inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale. Inhale, pause, shake off the legs. Good, lift up. Good, maybe you want to take the blocks a bit further forwards if you want some more space. So inhale, lift. Exhale for five more, go. One, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Good, shake off the legs. Good, take the blocks, we're gonna transition back using these. So however you want to, you can step or you can jump back. You can press forward and step back. Oh, that might be too tricky, so just whatever works for you. Bring the blocks forward. Okay, inhale, shift. So now we've got a bit more height, means we can go a bit lower. So obviously make sure you're nice and warm for this. And you can always try a few on your knees if not. So inhale, lengthen, we're gonna do five. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Hold the top for three, two, one. Drop the knees. Good. Shake off the arms. This time we can do it on the top of the feet. Um, yeah, I said it'd be quite intense, so it's good to get a sweat on. So shift forwards. Come back to your blocks. Uh, you can always wrap, I like the fingers wrapped around. So we're gonna do five. So if you start on the top of the feet, it becomes too much, you can always curl the toes back under. Okay, inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale for four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale. Exhale, drop the knees. Sink back. Cool, okay, take the blocks back. You can take the legs through. Or if you wanna float through, that's up to you. So, we're gonna go forward towards the heels then lift up. So, we're gonna shift, press, and then we're gonna exhale back. 
into like an L sit. The blocks actually make this a bit easier because you have more height, but I sort of expect a bit more compression if that's the case. Bring the blocks just behind the sit bones, slightly off to the sides. Inhale, lift up into like a bridge. Exhale, draw back, press. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. Good, now draw back. Draw back on the toes, keep pressing the floor away for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Come back to the front. Step back. Okay, so from this point, we're gonna find some more height, but also with the blocks, it means we need a little bit more room to move through. If you haven't got blocks, it's okay. You can use the hands on the floor. Um, this is just gonna increase the range of motion. So, take these forwards a bit. Could come to a three-legged plank, point the toe. Exhale, draw it forward. See if you can send the knee as far forward as you can. Almost touching the floor, at the front of the blocks. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, forwards. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, forwards between the blocks. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, just like we did before, switch legs. Inhale, lift the left. Exhale, inhale, lift. Exhale, forwards. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forwards. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, forwards. Extend the legs back. Compress the floor away. Creep forwards on the toes. See if you can come slightly over the wrist. Press down for five, four, three, two, one. Take the feet to hips distance apart. If you need to rest at any point, just pause the video and then continue. Exhale, lower the hips. Inhale, lift the heart. Next, exhale, draw in. Press the floor away. Inhale, lift the heart. We'll go to there. Exhale, draw in, press. Inhale, lift. Exhale, you should be pressing so much that you actually feel that sort of shake almost. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good, shift forwards. Bend the arms, five more chaturangas. Bend, slight variation this time. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, lower. Inhale, plank. Exhale, halfway. All the way up, exhale, down. Inhale, plank. Inhale, forwards, that's two. Exhale, bend. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, lower. Inhale to the top, that's three. Exhale, lower. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, lower. Inhale for four. Last one. Shakes are good. Exhale, lower. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, lower. Inhale to plank. Shift back. Send the blocks off to the side. Find that down dog. Good. So, a bit more dynamic in this one. So, bend the legs into that pounce position. So what we're gonna do is jump forwards and then jump back. So exhale, end of exhale, jump, chamber. Jump, chamber, keep the arms straight as you can. Jump, chamber, jump, so into that pounce, jump. So we're gonna do five more for one, two, three, four, Five, good, come to a squat position. Good, lift up. Extend out through the fingertips. Lower down onto the back. So we're working to some core for the last few minutes. Okay, extend the legs, point the toes. Exhale, draw the right foot up. Press the big toe in towards the left in the knee. Extend the right leg. Reach, hold for five, four, Three, two, one, bend the leg, extend. Other leg draws up. Inhale, lift, reach. Five, four, three, two, one, drop, extend. Take the hands, lower the feet. Okay, so we're gonna move into a hollow body rock. So we need to create like a line of tension. This is done in gymnastics a lot. 
but the lower back needs to be into the floor. To check this, this is a little bit of breathing space. <laughs> Round the back, make sure this presses. And then we want to be able to extend the legs and keep the shoulders off slightly, but keep this dish shape so we can start to rock like this. So we're going to do two rounds of 10 to begin with. So round the spine, maintain that dish shape, keep the lower belly in, and let's go for it. OK, so extend the feet, bring the arms up, lower back in. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good inhale, sit up. Draw the knees in, lift up through the chest, lift up through the crown of the head. Full breath. Good, start to make your way down. No time for too much rest, you can do that at the end. Point the toes, extend the arms, let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, inhale, sit up. Okay, shift back to the front. Cool. Take the hands out. Press into the left hand, lift the left foot. See if you can find a little bit more stability and extend the right arm. So finding more core, but resisting rotation for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, bring the left knee to the right elbow and the right elbow to the, right, to the left knee. Extend for two. Inhale, three, four, five, shift. Left hand extends, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Good. Shift forwards. Bend the legs. Exhale, end of exhale. Step or jump through. So you might have to cross the legs, or if you've got it, jump all the way through onto the butt. So coming onto the back, draw the knees in. Reach the hands forwards. So you can hold, find this like hollow this shape with the knees up, it's a little bit easier. So maybe that was a little bit harder, but this should be a little bit of a regression. Good, three, two, one, lower the right leg. Reach the left arm up, hold, five, four, three, two, one, switch. Five, four, the other hand is just pointed down the leg, two, one, switch, reach, five, four, three, two, one, switch, five, four, three, two, one. Good lower. Okay, a few V-sits, and then we'll uh, start to finish. So the V-sit is basically hollow back, point, lower, one, point, and all the way back down. So we'll do a few of those. So try and snap, up, tap, and then lower, control, hold at the end. So the last, last exercise of 10 reps, two lots of five. So lower down, point, and let's go for one, two, three, four, five. Good. Shake off. Okay, one more time. I didn't say how much rest or how long between each one. So let's go for one, two, three, four, five. Hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Big breath, full exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Shake off the legs, inhale. Exhale. Thank you for joining me on that 15 minute dynamic and strength practice. Give it a go, go back through it again if you're crazy enough to do two back to back, which would be nearly 30 minutes, and let me know how you get on. Thank you.